Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley and I live in Southern California. I have a family of four and every week I share my grocery haul with you to give you ideas on how to shop for your family on a budget. Today I did a Walmart grocery pickup. I had a minor surgery yesterday and um, just am not up and about to go grocery shopping. So Walmart pickup is excellent for that. The prices are the same as they are in the store. You can just pick it up. My husband actually picked it up and you can see your running total in the price when you order your groceries so you're not getting surprised. I did double check my order this time to make sure I didn't accidentally click on anything like I did last time and I was able to stay inside my budget of $150. My total was $147. So I like doing the Walmart pickup because if I have extra room at the end of my budget I can stock up my pantry or get a few treats if that's what I want to do. So we'll go through everything. If you want to see my meal plan, that'll be in the description box. And if you want to know the prices, I'm going to pop them up on the screen so you can see how much each item cost. Let's go ahead and start with the snacks. And then really quick, I just want to say thank you for all the prayers and well wishes for my medical stuff going on. I still have a long ways to go and a lot of things happening, but I appreciate all the kind words and messages that you've been sending me. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, going into snacks, I got these Simply Cheetos. My family and I love these, and they um, don't sell them at Aldi, so when we do Walmart, we like to get that. I also picked up this movie theater or extreme butter popcorn for my kids. I picked up some Doritos, the party size. And then this is a treat. Um, they don't have this at Aldi, and I know my kids love these, and we had a little extra room in the budget. So I went ahead and got these chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. And then this is a treat for me. I got this at my last Walmart haul. It's just blueberry muffins. They're like little mini muffins. It's a dollar. And it was really good. So I got it again. And then for breakfast, I got two orange juices. Um, we've been doing a lot of orange juice, so I needed an extra. Then I got a half gallon of milk. That is for chocolate milk. I also got the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. We just really enjoy that whenever we do orders from Walmart. I ordered one container of blueberries and they gave me two. I definitely only ordered one, but we will definitely use them both. Also ordered a pound of strawberries and a few bananas. Um, you can order them by the each, so I ordered four. Then I got some butter to go with bagels. The bagels fell on the floor. Oh, give me a second. It's hard to bend over right now. Um, but I got the butter, and then that goes with bagels in the morning. And then I also got this Texas toast because I thought it would be nice to make some French toast for breakfast this week. All right, moving on to lunches. I got a big thing of pepperoni. We're doing um, two dinners that use pepperoni and also... My kids like making little home Lunchables, and I like doing pepperonis with string cheese and goldfish, and that's their little Lunchable that they like, so I got a big bag of pepperoni. I also got romaine lettuce for salads. We're going to do salad for a side for dinner one night. I also want to do Asian chicken salads because I got these wonton strips from Aldi a few weeks ago, and I really want to eat them, so I also got matchstick carrots to go with the romaine to make a mix for that Asian chicken salad. Then I got some mini cucumbers because I have some leftover hummus from last week from Aldi. I picked out this peach cobbler yogurt. I thought that that just sounded really good. We have hot dogs from Costco, so I got some buns to go with that for a weekend lunch. And then I got Honeycrisp apples. They were on sale. This is a three pound bag. And they're our favorite apples and we haven't purchased them in a while because they've been so expensive so this was not too bad so I went ahead and got it I got some deli pepperoni for sandwiches I also got some deli sliced chicken for sandwiches and on my sandwiches I love these banana peppers so I got a jar of those and this Italian bread so this will be really good lunches some fresh sandwiches and I think that is it that is all we have for lunch. We also have a bunch of string cheeses. We have goldfish, fruit snacks. I still have mini muffins, veggie straws for the kids' lunches, and frozen go-gurt. And then my husband and I also do leftovers a lot for lunch, so we are set. 
Now for dinners, dinner number one is gonna be tacos. I got some ground beef for those. And then I went ahead and got these stand and stuff shells. I thought that would be good. We already have lettuce and cheese. So we're gonna do like Taco Bell style tacos for dinner one night. For dinner tonight, we're gonna do like a shrimp boil. I already have shrimp, but I got some smoked sausage to go with that. I also got these red potatoes. Um, I don't remember how much this is. I think it's like three pounds. Um, and then I got corn. So the corn I ordered, I ordered six ears of regular corn. They substituted me this because they didn't have the regular corn. I'm just gonna cook this all up with the shrimp and some Old Bay seasoning and Cajun seasoning. And we're gonna have like a shrimp boil for dinner tonight. I think it's gonna be really good and really easy. Um, another dinner we're gonna do this week is French bread pizza. So I got this big loaf of French bread. We already have mozzarella cheese. I went ahead and got a thing of pizza sauce. We'll use half and then freeze the other half for another pizza night. And I also got extra pizza sauce for our pantry. And then I just got extra just tomato sauce. Sometimes I use pizza sauce, sometimes I use tomato sauce. And we season it ourselves for pizza. So that'll be another dinner. And actually the shrimp boil was a suggestion from my, from my husband. And so was the French bread pizza. And then the other thing he sent me on TikTok was a um, chicken fajita pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I got some chicken breast. I'll use half of it for the chicken fajita pasta. The other half I'm going to cook for the Asian chicken salads for lunch. Um, and then actually I might have a little bit left. I might freeze a piece for next week. Um, we're we're going to do that for a meal. And then what else? I got sour cream for the tacos. I forgot to say that. Um, for the chicken fajita pasta, I also got two onions. And then I didn't need any um, bell peppers because we got some from my mother-in-law's garden. We have a bunch of bell peppers. So I'm going to be using those up. And then for the next dinner, we're going to be doing a pizza ravioli bake. That's another TikTok my husband sent me. So I got some pasta sauce for that. We already have frozen ravioli. You already saw the pepperoni. We're going to do green beans with that meal. So I got a bag of green beans. We're also going to do homemade garlic bread. So I got a thing of bread for that. This one's for the sandwiches. This one is for the pizza ravioli. And then for the Asian uh, salad, I'm going to make my own dressing with sesame oil, olive oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and uh, peanut butter. So I needed some rice vinegar for that. And then for our last dinner, we're going to use some of the pork chops that we bought from Costco like four weeks ago. They've been in the freezer. And we're going to do shake and bake pork chops. I grew up eating them. They're so good. And um, they sell this at Walmart. So I'm excited to have that meal. And again, I want to do garlic green beans with that. And that is everything. All right, so that is everything that I got from Walmart. I did just realize that one of the nights I have a meal planned, I actually have a PET scan that day, and it's at like 4.45, and it's an hour away, and it takes a while, so I think we're just going to eat out that night. So one of these meals might carry over into next week. So if anything, I stayed under budget, and I have extra meals. Um, since we are going to go out to eat that one night, but usually we don't usually we eat at home If we go out, it's usually for lunch that usually ends up being cheaper But um, if you want to see the meal plan, it's in the description box again. Thank you for all the well wishes and prayers I appreciate it. If you're enjoying these grocery hauls, I should have a Aldi haul next week I should be back in the store and good to go hopefully and I will see you guys next week with another video Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye